Hey everybody, Town of Montgomery Supervisor Brian Marr here. We are here to talk about an amazing collaboration between the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan, Walk Hill River School, and Healy Brothers. I'm joined here by Elizabeth Rowley, Nicole Lee Feller from the Community Foundation, Maureen Crush from the Walk Hill River School, and Brian and Jay from Healy Brothers. Why don't you introduce your team real quick? So, Brian Healy and uh, Jay Healy, we got Laura Aiello here. Um, can't really do much without her. She kind of runs and facilitates <laughs> us, keeps us in line. So mm -hmm. Laura is a massive part of it and um, we can't thank her enough. Um, it's our 45th anniversary this year. So uh, it's pretty special that we got to do this with you guys, join what the Hudson Valley gives and um, walk over to school. Absolutely. So we're here to talk about something very specific. The Community Foundation of Oregon Sullivan had another successful HV gives. This was year seven, correct? Sure was. Seven years, over $3 million raised, over $600,000 raised this year alone. But at the end of the day, there was so much that went into it that a lot of people don't know about. There's nearly 400 charitable funds off of the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan. People who are watching this from the town of Montgomery, you know all about the Tom Strong Community Response Team, all of the things that we were able to do to help our community and those most in need during the pandemic never would have been possible without that partnership with the Community Foundation. So I'd love to have the Community Foundation talk a little bit about the genesis of why we're all here, what brought Healy Brothers into it, and eventually how it led to the donation to the Walker River School. Sure, absolutely. Well, thanks so much for having us here this morning. It's great to see everybody on a beautiful Friday. Um, the Community Foundation of Orange and Sullivan was started over 20 years ago really as a vehicle for charitable giving here in Orange and Sullivan County. So we are all about connecting people who care with causes that matter, which is exactly what Hudson Valley Gives is all about. Um, when we started this seven years ago, we were really looking for creative ways to engage young people, to engage new donors, and really to get the word out about the importance of our nonprofits. We all know that places like the Walk Hill River School, so many other organizations in our community, Habitat for Humanity, the YMCA, hospitals, colleges, we have so many awesome nonprofit organizations in the Hudson Valley. So really the idea of Hudson Valley Gives is that we're all coming together on this day each year for the past seven years to celebrate our nonprofits, to celebrate community, and to give back in a big way. So each year it's grown a little bit bigger and uh, just you know really spread the word you know throughout the valley um, we've engaged a lot of new nonprofits this year which we were really excited to see um, but places like the Walker River School have been engaged since the beginning so it's been really great to just kind of see this grow year over year so I've been on maternity leave the last three months I'm just back this week Nicole really um, you know deserves all the credit this year uh, along with our awesome staff team at the Community Foundation Absolutely. of course um, you know, for for rolling this out and for engaging Healy Brothers um, with this awesome prize and everything else you guys have done for us this year. So, so I'd love for Nicole to get into a little more detail of how uh, Healy Brothers was engaged, how that happened, and how sure. supportive they were of being part of this. Absolutely. Well, Healy Brothers is a go-to when it comes to philanthropy, right? So when we went and spoke to Healy Brothers and say, we, we think that Hudson Valley Gives is the perfect thing, they were right on board because this was a way to support not just one, but more than 180 nonprofits in the region all throughout the Hudson Valley. Um, Healy Brothers often says they're driven to give, um, and that's such a powerful message, but it really rings true for what they do. Um, so when we heard it was the 45th anniversary, we tried to come up with some creative prizes, and we came up with the idea of a prize giveaway at 450. Um, so the way it works is it makes it really fair so that all the nonprofits that are involved at Hudson Valley Gifts have a chance of winning that big 450 prize. Um, fortunately, um, the Walk Hill River School was the recipient of that, um, and it really made a huge difference for them. So just um, going back with a little bit of wrap up though, they were our top sponsor with a $5,000 initial donation and then also gave proceeds from car sales throughout the month of May. So really, we can't be like more thankful. Um, our day would not have been a success without Healy Brothers and we are so appreciative for their support. Awesome, and now to the Healy Brothers team, from your perspective, what was that conversation like and why was it so important for you to take part in HV Gives? It just made sense. And I hate to say it so bluntly, but Healy Brothers really prides itself on being a family-owned and community-driven organization. Um, and we're used to giving back into our community because we pride ourselves on that. Um, if you've ever heard me talk about Healy Brothers before, I always say we are so much more than a car dealership. Anybody can sell you and service your cars, right? But it's 
we're different because of all the things that we do outside of anything that has to do with cars. So when we got approached by the Community Foundation, it was a it was a duh. It was a split second decision that just made sense. And like Nicole and Jason mentioned, since it was our 45th anniversary of Healy Brothers being around, it was just we wanted to make it as big as possible, really make awesome. it a doozy, and really do it up for everybody. You did definitely. A doozy for sure. For sure. <laughs> we try to go. We try to go all in every time. It's, it's yeah, not, we never do anything halfway. That's for sure. You know, I think that. Um, we needed your help. We've always tried to do a charitable donation or a, one or two big events each year on our own. Laura, you know, you do a great job, but you, just getting the extra help from your team uh, really brought us over the top this year. 100%. And that's a recurring theme. I mean, if you look at the town of Montgomery and the folks that are watching this that we're targeting our town of Montgomery residents, hopefully there's more from the surrounding areas as well, but look at the Tom Strong Community Response Team. We couldn't have done that. We needed the community foundation's help, just like Brian said. The SPOMA committee, where we're revitalizing our uh, African American cemetery. We have a charitable fund with the community foundation. We needed their help. So that's really, really spot on. There's so much you can do on your own to give, but when the community foundation's involved, it's just the multiplier effect is just astounding. And that's what really creates a larger value. So look, you did what you did. It was amazing for HV Gives. Um, but you specifically were able to help the Walkhill River School. And Maureen, I would like for you to talk about what this, um, specifically the donation uh, from that you won randomly was over $4,000, right? But also you were able to raise more because they were a sponsor and there were little add-on prizes that you won as well. So speak a little bit to that and then also what you do here at the Walkhill River School in the town of Montgomery. Absolutely. I mean, giant thanks to the Community Foundation, giant thanks to Healy Brothers. You have no idea how impactful that whole Hudson Valley Gibbs program is and your donation. We are a very small charity. We are in one of our beautiful galleries here and we're very grateful uh, to be here. But we, as a team, the whole board said, the only way we're going to make a significant difference in this Hudson Valley Gibbs is to try to win the prizes that come up with special sponsorships. We have a, when we had board members triggered to go, Sarah had a series with our, our you know, executive director, Sarah Pearson, had a series of emails going out to the board That's timing. Awesome. 10 more minutes until the time. And I was sitting at my computer watching the countdown, armed with my phone, you know, ready to push the button. But successfully, we were able to win the last donation of the night, $750, another one of the matching gifts for $150, the amazing $4,110 gifts from Healy awesome. Brothers. Um, without the matching gifts, we would have raised $1,000. Instead, we raised $6,110. Wow which for us is enormous. It's almost an in full, a full month of our budget, that kind of money. We have a very small budget here. We do a tremendous amount, um, the Walter River School, for art in the community, and that's what we're about. And look, I know artists um, come here and there's a lot of opportunities for them, but there aren't a whole lot of opportunities for people to get paid to have their art displayed. Correct. So, how does this impact the Walker River School, whether it's in that way or, or any other way? Oh, no, it's, it's really important. We, we have teachers. We have artists who are teachers here. They're right now in the other classrooms here, people teaching art. We pay our teachers. We're able to raise the funds from, their, from money like this to pay the teachers. We obviously keep the building going, right? We have a beautiful place for people to display their art, for the public to come in and buy art. Some of our arts would otherwise have absolutely no place to display. It really allows the community to have this place to view, but also for our artists to feel that their work, what we're looking at here is all donated work, the artists to have their work shown, which is like one of their most important things, to have the idea that people are coming in to appreciate their gift um, and to see that. It's huge. This kind of money helps us be sustainable. Great. Without the money, we can't sustain this place. You know, we are in the process now of a capital campaign, which we've been working with the Community Foundation on. We, we stalled during pandemic, but if we can complete the campaign, which we're going to have a nice kickoff party tomorrow night, um, and we're going to relaunch the campaign and wrap it up, because we would really like to be sustainable in this community. This place is so important. 
Um, we provide classes for our seniors that are free. They can come, they can paint. We provide free classes for veterans. This money helps us keep those classes available. We do summer programming, art for the kids, and we provide scholarships for kids. So that's, again, what part of the money will be used for, plus our party tomorrow that's night. That's great. Will all be used for summer scholarships for the kids. So for those that are watching this, some of you may not have even heard of the Walker River School, which is a big reason why we're promoting this and having this conversation and reaching out to the community. We want to highlight the philanthropy of the Healy Brothers and what they do as a, as a community-minded business. We always want to highlight and show the support for the Community Foundation of Orton and Sullivan. Um, if you're looking to donate, if you're looking to start a charity, call Biz, call Nicole. They're your people. If you'd like to make a donation directly to the Walkill River School, we are going to put the link in the comment section, and that's the link to their website. So if you also want to sign up for a class because this is the first time you're hearing about yeah. what they offer, please reach out to them and sign up. So hit the share button. Anyone who's watching this, please share this video. Um, if you can't make a donation, that's what you can do. Hit the share button, share this with your network, make sure people get the word out of Walker River School's tremendous mission, what the CFOS does. And uh, Healy Brothers, you, you guys just heard from Maureen about the impact of what your donations meant. What does that mean to you? Everything. I mean, it means it's, everything. It's, it's why we do it. Um, it's, it's part of who we are. It's what we've always been taught since we were younger from our grandfather down to us now. Um, every dollar counts for everyone, whether it affects us or not, but it's, it's really meaningful to hit so many different organizations, especially just hearing your story now and how much it does, how much one dollar goes. So mm -hmm. that's more impactful to us as well. So. Um, I'm glad I'm glad this all worked out. This this even means more to hear from you. So <laughs> absolutely. Nice. So uh, it's uh, special. It's really special. Very Great. special to us. <laughs> and look, in the town of Montgomery, we have a lot of vendors. We pick and choose who we want to do business with based on a lot of factors. But we love being able to work with community-minded businesses. So the town of Montgomery has certainly worked with Healy. Um, we really appreciate giving back to businesses that give back to their community. Uh, so certainly think of them. Uh, when you're in any sort of need to purchase a vehicle and think of the Walker River School and supporting them if you're looking to make a donation and at all times always consider the Community Foundation of Orton Sullivan because the amount of work they do has such an impact on I, I'm gonna say hundreds of thousands of people uh, over the last several decades so thank you all for everything you do anybody have any last things they'd like to say uh, I think just just one quick thing I know, I know this year uh, we did start our, our Healy Brothers uh, Driven to Give Foundation with the help of uh, the crew down there. So we're never going to stop giving. Uh, I just wanted to say out there we're going to keep doing we'll keep working with you guys. That's never going to stop. So uh, just something out there that's real special to our heart. We finally got it done this year, got over the finish line to, to start our own foundation. <laughs> yes. I know Laura's, Laura's been working on it for years, and we finally got over the finish line. We got our little board of directors kind of thing going. So uh, we're headed in the right direction. And, um, and what better way to kickstart yeah. it than yeah. with yeah. the Walker River School? Wow. That's it's awesome. Really, it's really cherry on top. Yeah. And for people to really kind of wrap their heads around this, this means um, that Healy Brothers is committed forever to giving the community. That's awesome. um, when all of us are long gone, mm -hmm. that fund mm -hmm. continues to give to the community. It continues to grow at the, at the community foundation, and it's a legacy. Yes. So, you know, from the bottom of our hearts, it, it means a lot. And I know everyone in the community um, feels it from Healy Brothers, and we appreciate it. Well, you guys. well, I really appreciate everybody making the time to get here. I know you're all very busy. I'm going to bring the check over um, if somebody wants well, we got, to. We got, we got it right here. Oh, you got it right here. Right here. Right here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. So, there we go. You got it. I'm grinning. So there's going to be a... <laughs> There's going to be a photo taken outside, but we just wanted to put it in the video and uh, just say thank you again to the Hilly Brothers, oh, right. the Community yeah. Foundation. I'm getting ready for a picture. <laughs> uh, and lastly, just one more time, hit that share button, get the word out, and let everybody know the tremendous work being done by these fine young men and women. You guys have a great day. Any, anything else, everybody? Just a big thanks. Yeah. All right. Thank thanks, you. everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Acquisitions Marketing. All right.